Well, people like him, we call Uncle Toms. Uncle Tom was a Negro who wanted to stay a slave. Uncle Tom was a Negro. Whenever the slave master's house caught on fire, he would say, Master, our house is on fire. Whenever the master got sick, he would say, Master, are we sick? Whenever the master had some old clothes, some old chicken bones, he'd give it to Uncle Tom. So he's, we got two type black people today. One want to be independent. One want to be black. One want his own name. He wants to learn his culture. Then we got a black man with a white mind who likes his European name. He likes his European language. He likes his European Jesus. And he wants to marry, he wants to past and marry the white girl. And he lives in white neighborhoods. His children all go to white schools. He's a black man in a white world. So that's why he says that because he has no knowledge of himself, and he's mentally dead to the truth. But one day he'll wake up, and he'll know that I'm right. So he's a good boxer. White people call me Muhammad Ali, you, but that shows you how he is mentally. He don't want to respect my name because it represents darker people and unity because that's so much different from what he believes. He believes in total difference things than I do. He he don't like himself or his people. He don't speak for black people. He don't take part in marches. You never hear him talk like me. He's a different type man mentally. He's slow. So I cannot blame him. As Jesus said when they killed him, he said, forgive them father. They know not what they do. So uh, he knows not what he do. So I overlook him too. What is my purpose of not going to Vietnam? Killing babies, killing mother, killing daddy with guns and steel and fire and bombs and poison. My purpose is to kill them. But when I go in the rain, my purpose is not to kill them. That's why Ron Lau was on the ropes. I told the referee to stop it. He was hurt. Jerry Quarry was on the ropes. I told her, this on record. I told the referee, I said, stop it. I had James Ellis on the ropes. He was about to fall out. I told the referee I wouldn't hit him. They said I carried my opponents because I wouldn't kill him or hurt him. I might cause a brain concussion. I might cause a hemorrhage. He might die. He's got a family. So I wouldn't kill him. So whoever says that Muhammad Ali didn't go to Vietnam but he can box, tell him that Muhammad Ali backs up what he does with actions. Three opponents, I didn't hurt them because they were unconscious and the referee couldn't see it, but I did. So my purpose in boxing is to talk to people like in your country, to help poor people, to use my title to represent the little people. Because big people, when they get famous, they don't talk to little people no more. They ride around with limousines and bodyguards, and they're like they're better than some people. My purpose in boxing is to become great, to become world famous, and still be humble to speak the truth for little people, regardless of race, creed, or color. So I, I'm not wrong for boxing because my purpose is good. But Vietnam, my purpose is to kill, so that's bad.